their bronzer has only one shade. Hi beauties and cuties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your favorite internet gunkle, the Michael Pepito. Today, I just wanna set the record straight with you guys. Makeup is not gendered. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hear. When you really break it down, beauties and cuties, makeup is just a bunch of dirt that you put on your face. And everybody has skin, everybody has a face. The funny thing is, makeup has been around for ages. Literally, George Washington was beating his face. Even in Kabuki Theater in Japan, they did not allow women to be actresses. So they had men play women and they had the men wear makeup. So literally for ages, makeup has always been around and men have been using it, but I don't know what happened in this 21st century that we're living in right now because it seems like the men just feel very uncomfortable with using already existing makeup brands that are out there like Maybelline, NARS, Rare Beauty, Fenty Beauty. There's so many makeup brands that have been doing it way better for way longer. And the marketing team of these makeup brands don't specifically say NARS Beauty for women. Fenty Beauty for women. Maybe it's Maybelline for women. No, 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 there is none of that. There has been this makeup brand for men called War Paint for men. And it just really caught my attention. I mean, look, I'm all for inclusivity, baby, okay? I am a boy who wears makeup. If you're a man and you wanna wear makeup, la la la. If you're a man and you wanna wear makeup, wear that makeup. So in this video today, I'm going to react to War Paint for men. And I'm just gonna go visit their shop, their Instagram, watch a few of their reels. Yeah, I just wanna see what War Paint is all about. So I'm just gonna do a deep dive. I have my laptop right here. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so I'm on their website right now. And first thing that shows up when I pull up the website is a dark skin male model. We love the inclusivity. I love that they featured him. The packaging. Um, let's talk. It's giving boring. It's giving basic. It's giving grayscale. So obviously with products marketed towards men, of course they're gonna use darker colors. Usually they do grays, they do blacks, they do browns, they do dark blues or greens. The masculine colors or whatever. What I'm getting from the packaging is it's giving incognito. Like if these products were sitting on a guy's, I don't know, <laughs> sink or whatever next to everything else, I don't think people would think that it's makeup unless they actually took time to read it. Cause in first glance, they just look like normal bottles, but very vague, it's very vague. With other brands and their packaging like Fenty Beauty or Rare Beauty, it's just very like, I am foundation. Yeah. And usually with the foundation bottles, they're see-through so you could see the actual tint of the foundation. But the foundation bottle is not see-through. You cannot really tell that this is makeup. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Do my eyes deceive me? There is only five. <clears throat> there is only five shades of the foundation of the concealer, of the skin tint. Mm, I'm trying to process, um... Okay, first of all, there's makeup products out there, fellas and men, that have 50 shades, literally ranges of shades for all skin colors. And it kind of boggles my mind that the first model that they have on their website is a dark skin man, yet their shade range is so limited, especially what I noticed, their bronzer has only one shade. I need to show you guys the color of this bronzer. So this bronzer, I can't even use this bronzer. The shade of this bronzer, it looks like a shade of foundation that I, I, I use, like, but in powder form. But they only have one, they only have one shade of bronzer. Okay. <laughs> Who's gonna use this? Who's gonna use one shade of bronzer? Like, I feel like this skin tone shade is only catered to light skin people. Definitely the dark skin model that they have on their website is not able to use this bronzer. I mean, it mind boggles me that they have different shades of men on their Instagram, like different ethnicities, yet their shade range is so limited. So War Paint for Men is giving inclusivity 
but also not inclusivity, if that makes sense. Anyways, um, moving on. Okay, so now I am on War Paint for Men's Instagram, and I'm just gonna check out how these products work in action. Nice and evenly across the skin. Okay, so. <laughs> also got a nice little applicator here. First of all, like he is definitely giving bodybuilder, he's definitely giving marine. But yeah, let's continue watching. I'm gonna rub it in so it's nice and even. This gets the skin hydrated, gets rid of any dry patches, so you're ready to right, apply the rest of the makeup. So he is taking his beauty blender, literally dragging his beauty blender. How can one do that? I just, it, it's not comprehending for me. It just blows my mind because there's so many male makeup artists out there that have years of experience doing makeup. Like the application technique that they're using, it's just so wrong. Dragging your beauty blender across your skin, especially the under eye area, you will stretch your skin out. You're gonna cause wrinkles. You're gonna like distress your skin and irritate it. Let's just continue watching. Step two. We're going to be using a concealer. Okay, he's using Just a concealer. Just getting any blemishes, spots, any scarring, like I've got here, any sort of dark patch oh, on your eyes. Oh, stop. So drag your skin. not looking tired for photo shoes. Don't want none of that. So we apply that. Just by getting a bit under the eyes here. Oh, no. He's doing it again. Stop with the dragging. I just feel like when you work with the under eyes, you're supposed to do little tappies. Do a little tappy tap dance because this is a very thin skin and sensitive eye area you don't want to be dragging your fingers and the way he's doing it it's just like it's conveying their branding because you know when you think war paint you think but oh my god it just oh it irks me it's getting under my skin how wrong he's applying it and i just feel like this is my hypothesis i just feel like with things more gendered towards men especially if you're dabbling into things like makeup that have been female dominated for the longest time i feel like they're trying not to be feminine even this model he's portraying very hyper masculine he's like muscular he has a beard. So I feel like their audience is definitely more of the hyper masculine man. Next up, we have the bronzer. The bronzer. Which no. we'll apply this naughty little brush here. Get a nice little bit on. Don't want to overdo it so it still keeps that natural look. <laughs> Just dabbing it in. Wow. Okay. Oh. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Bronzer usually is supposed to work with like the contours of the face. He's literally putting the bronzer, and I'm doing these quotation marks because the bronzer only has one shade. He's literally putting the bronzer underneath his eye area. And I just have to point that out that he's putting bronzer under his under eye area because usually concealer is used to brighten your under eyes. Bronzer is used to like contour and shape the face. You know, there's like bronze tour, you know, you can like shape the face. Like I use bronzer in the outer parts of the face and then the inner parts are more highlighted but the way he's using the bronzer i guess it's an overall self tan that's what i'm getting interesting and last but not least we have the anti-shine powder anti-shine powder using okay. this just to get rid of any sort of shine on the skin he put on so just apply he put even a little amount He's putting on so, so much. That sort of look. Okay, first of all, first of all, he dabbed into the anti-shine powder and there was like a bunch of chalky white on one side of his face and then he just drags it around and there's just not an even application. So with powders like that, you are supposed to only mattify the areas where you don't want the glow. So you usually mattify the T-zone, the outer parts, you know. He just put, he's putting it all over. And he's also saying that this powder will still make you glow. But the way he's applying it, none of that tinted moisturizer is gonna be dewy anymore because he literally puts so much powder. So his skin looks more mattified now. Okay, I just need to see like one more video just to see if there's any model who is applying these products correctly. But let's, let's check this guy out. He's Jake. 
Okay, I must just comment. He is also another muscular, tattooed guy with a beard. There is a certain type of audience that they're marketing towards, and it's the manly men. I just had to point that out. Then I get to tan a little bit, not too much, of the tinted moisturizer. Tinted moisturizer. Okay. And I put that on, as you can see when I put it on, just gives me a tiny little bit more color. Okay, okay. Okay, that's how you can, you can apply tinted moisturizer like that. Some tinted moisturizers that I've used before, you put it on and it kind of clogs up in your beard, but this doesn't. So, mm. Then I get the <laughs> And if I've got any spots, I just bang that on, but I haven't at the minute, so I'm doing alright. Okay, so, so he's doing the I concealer. Ah, uh, ah, uh, there we are. I've got any dark circles. Oh no, not the dragging on the skin. Somebody teach these men how to use a beauty sponge. Somebody. Pounce, pounce, pounce. No draggy. No, no, no. Okay, so it's just scrolling through, not even like looking at their posts. A lot of their models they feature are the jock type guys, all tatted, beards, athletic. For the most part, they are geared towards the more obvious masculine presenting type. I don't see a lot of non-binary representing a brand and the models they choose to represent that brand. It also is kind of like an extension of that brand message and voice. So with the whole jock type, muscle type, tatted, bearded, male type. I feel like their main brand messaging is because these men are more forward, masculine presenting types that look like they can fuck you up, basically. It's perfectly okay for the average man to try these products and makeup because you're not sacrificing your masculinity in the process of applying makeup, which is so ridiculous, in my opinion. <laughs> because literally, makeup is just dirt that you put on your face. Anyone and everyone who has a face can do it, regardless of gender. You know, with these men, they don't want to sacrifice their precious masculinity while doing makeup. So that's why their whole packaging, it's all grayscale. They feature these models that are masculine, forward-presenting bodybuilder jock types who are tatted. They're trying to compensate for the fact that they are a makeup brand. At the end of the day, even though they call themselves war paint, they're a motherfucking makeup brand. If you're a man watching this, no matter what gender expression you choose to express yourself, check out your local Sephora. Check out your local Ulta or Harvey Nichols. Just go ahead and check that out. There is way better products that have been doing this for years that have more shade ranges. <laughs> and honestly, the one bronzer shade is just, a. that's a wrap for me. I just, enough said. War paint, I mean, if you want to continue, like, expand your shade range. And that is my reaction to war paint for men. Now, at the end of the day, more men wearing makeup. I feel like it's cool to see more men wearing makeup. I mean, I love that. I'm, I'm here for it. However, let me just reiterate. Makeup is for everyone. Let's just stop with the whole gendering and labeling things because, <laughs> come on. Come on. I mean, women can use war paint if they want. Men can use Fenty Beauty if they want. Okay, so makeup is for everyone. I wanna see moving forward more genderless brands coming out that are catered to everybody. And what blows my mind is there are already those brands out there that are literally catered to everyone. But I think more masculine and heterosexual men who are interested in doing makeup don't want to sacrifice their masculinity by going into a Sephora and being seen with the black and white striped Sephora bag getting foundation because I feel like it would dent their fragile masculinity. But come on, if you want to go into Sephora, if you want to go into Ulta, just do it. I've used a lot of brands and there's a lot of great ones out there for you fellas. So anyways, beauties and cuties, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and join the beauties and cuties because we are the most slay people on the internet. Also, be sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok down below. Until next time, beauties and cuties, XOXO, Michael Pepito.